I got the skills, I can build, I have the knowledge, I have some connections. My construction company is small compared to the bigger ones here in Maui, but you know, the drive that we have is like, it was solid. But it looked like what Hiroshima must have looked like. You know, it was just decimated. There was nothing taller than my waist. But we did not sit on our laurels for long. I think materials were being ordered within the first probably three or four days after the fire. He's got two kids, a wife, two dogs. It's like, where is he going to live? You know, he was talking about moving to the mainland. And I was like, look, man, you got to stay here. Like, you got to help everybody. You got to help rebuild. You got to be here. You can't, you can't leave. You have to stay. You got to help. And he's going every day to build this house. He's, he's building his house. And he doesn't know how to build a house, but he's doing it. My guy's been working out of donation. I've been paying for the materials out of my own bank account out of my own pocket with whatever money I had left because I lost a lot financially. And I cannot, I cannot sponsor this project for much longer, you know, but at least I feel good about it for whatever I did. I've been teaching them how to work, how to shoot, how to measure. So we can teach new skills that man we will need to be rebuilt, you know? There are not enough good things that I can say about the people who live here. I don't know anyone who hasn't been affected by this. It doesn't matter if you live way out of Lahaina and you don't work in restaurants or whatever, you know. The tourism has declined sharply in the wake of this for obvious reasons. So everybody's suffering. You know, if I'm looking through my phone at all these photos that I've taken since the fire, I just see destruction and all, you know, I went back to my property and I was able to dig around for a moment. And it's just, you know, everything's twisted metal and broken, melted glass. And it's like, oh, there's all my tools just destroyed. And that's just like, huh, okay, that's too bad. But then if I go through my phone to the photos before the fire, and I see my kids playing in my wood shop. When I see those things, you know, these memories that they will not be able to have again, and that at least there, you know, that's when I start getting like, I have to put my phone down because I can't, I can't think about that. You know, I just need to think forward. Because if I start thinking about what was, it's tough. Lahaina is the best place in the world, without a doubt. It's still there, but it's never going to be the same.